Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, He gave, gave us the Eucharist, Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord your, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. <laughs> blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy Mother, Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries, of, of the Holy, Holy Rosary, Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, 
Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all. In the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meriba and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty men the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief, their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those you protect shall be glad and bring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord our God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, 
the Lord an immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as, as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Anyone who would not work should not eat. We hear that some of you are unruly, not keeping busy, but acting like busy bodies. We enjoin all such, and we urge them strongly in the Lord Jesus Christ to earn the food they eat by working quietly. You must not grow weary of doing what is right, brothers. Please stand. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. His marvelous works are beyond compare. Blessed from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord our God. We esteem Christ above all men, for he was filled with grace and the Holy Spirit. In faith, let us implore him. Give us your spirit, Lord. Grant us a peaceful day. When evening comes, we will praise you with joy and purity of heart. We pray. Give us your spirit, Lord. Let your splendor rest upon us today. Direct the work of our hands. We pray. Give us your spirit, Lord. May your face shine upon us and keep us in peace. May your strong arm protect us. We pray. Give us your spirit, Lord. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for brothers in ministry, at Santo Domingo, and Our Lady of the Rosary. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Look kindly on all who put their trust in our prayers. Fill them with every bodily and spiritual grace. We pray. Give us your spirit, Lord. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now offer the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, may everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your saving help. Let our work always find its origin in you and through you reach completion. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we celebrate the anniversary of our deceased parents. In this celebration, we remember our parents who have preceded us with a sign of faith and rest in peace. The Dominican family joins together to honor our deceased parents with the same affection we show them in life. For in Christ, they gave us birth and from the crib, they showed us what it means to be followers of Christ. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We brothers and sisters, we gather together as one family to honor the memory of our deceased parents in the Dominican family. It's a supreme act of piety that we render to them what is due to them, our homage, our thanksgiving for the many forms of service that they have rendered to us as their own children. It is but proper that we once again offer our prayers to our deceased parents in the Dominican family and ask them to guide us still as they enjoy the presence of God forever. We are not worthy to become the offerers of these blessings and praises and thanksgiving and yet the good lord is going to give us the grace that we may become worthy and deserving of all these acts of mercy so once again we invoke his god's understanding and compassion lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of all consolation, by his command, we honor father and mother. In your tenderness, have mercy on our parents. Forgive their sins, and let us see them at last in the light of eternal joy. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. None of us lives as his own master, and none of us dies as his own master. While we live, we are responsible to the Lord, and when we die, we die as his servants, both in life and in death, we are the Lord's. That is why Christ died and came to life again, that he might be the Lord of both the living and the dead. We shall all have to appear before the judgment seat of God. It is written, As surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. Every one of us will have to give an account of himself before God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I rejoice when I hear them say, let us go to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to the house of the Lord. I rejoice when I hear them say, 
let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgments on the house of David. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, Peace upon you. For the love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Please stand. This is the will of my Father, says the Lord, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord raising his eyes to heaven jesus prayed and said father all those you gave me i would have in my company where i am to see this glory of mine which is yours gift to me because of the love you bore me before the world began. Just, Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these men have known that you sent me. To them I have revealed your name, and I will continue to reveal it, so that your love for me may live in them, and I may live in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Bago pa man lumaganap ang pakikipagbubunayan natin sa itas isa sa pamamagitan ng social media, o makausap ang sino man sa pamamagitan ng ating mga cellphones, nauna na ang simbahan sa pagpapalaganap ng komunikasyon sa pamamagitan ng panalangin. Kahit na ang ating mga minamahal ay yumao na at nasa kabilang dako, maaari pa tayo makipagtalastasan sa kanila. Hindi napuputol ang kanilang pagmamahal at pagmamalasakit sa atin. Kaya maaari pa nating hingin ang kanilang mga tulong upang tayo subaybayan at ipagtaguyod. Sino pa ba naman ang ating lalapitan kung hindi yung ating nanay at tatay? Kahit na yung mauyan, nakikita nila ang takbo ng ating buhay sa pamamagitan ng Panginoon sapagkat sa harap ng Panginoon nakikita nila ang mata ng Diyos at ang mata ng Diyos nakatutok sa atin. Kaya sa pamamagitan ng pagharap sa Diyos nakikita nila kung saan napupunta ang takbo na ng ating buhay. Kaya sino pa ba ang ating aasahang tutulong sa atin? Kaya nga bagak, kahit na matatanda na tayo, katulad ko kapag ka tayo may sakit, Merong karamdaman, nasa kagipitan. Ano yung 
lumalabas sa ating bibig, inako po. Inako po. Hanggang sa katandaan, inako po. Minsan tuloy yung mga nurses at saka yung mga doktor yung nagtataka. Buhay pa kaya ang nanay at tatay ni Lolo? Bakit? Eh, likas na sa atin. Ako, sino man ang haharapin natin para tayo matulungan? Sino pa? Kundi yung mga nagmamahal sa atin. Kaya hindi na puputol ang kaugnayan. Hindi sapagkat yumao na sila eh. Wala na silang pakialam sa atin. At sasabihin natin, mabuti pa sila, tahimik na. Tayo nakikipagtunggali pa dito sa buhay na ito. Hindi ah. Nakikita pa nila yan. At dapat lamang nakausapin natin sila. Sapagkat kahit wala sa tingin, nasa piling pa rin. At inaalala. Kaya nga tayo nagdadasal din para sa kanila. Hindi na puputol ang kaugnayan. Kaya ang simbahan laging pinapaalala. Huwag niyong kalilimutan ang mga yumao. Hindi niyo ba napapansin dito sa simbahan pag alas otso kumakampana? Bakit kumakampana? Sa pagka sinasabi sa inyo, eh, mag-uumpisa na yung curfew para sa pandemya. Hindi. Kahit walang pandemya, kumakampana pag alas otso. Ano yun? Inaanyayahan lang lahat, alalahanin yung mga yumaon ninyong minamahal sa buhay at makipagtalastasan kayo. Magdasal kayo at ipagdasal ninyo. Bago kayo matulog. Kaya nga pinapaalala sa pagkat lahat ng bagay makakalimutan nyo pero yung pagtulog hindi nyo makakalimutan. Kaya bago matulog, napapaalala sa inyo, hoy, bago kayong matulog, alalahanin niyo yung mga yumaon ninyo. Na sa inyong pagtulog na mabuti, nahihimlay kayo na sana'y nahihimlay ding mabuti yung mga manamahal nyo sa buhay. At kami mga pare, kami mga madre, alam nyo ba, pag pinagdadasal namin, kahit kaprisitong dasal, inaalala namin ng mga yumao, kailan? Pag kami kumakain, Pagkatapos namin kumain at magpasalamat sa Panginoon, meron kami sinasabing maliit na dasal. May the source of the faithful deposit to the mercy of God rest in peace. Bakit doon tinatampok sa pagkakain yung pag-alala sa mga patay? Ano? Parang nakakatakot naman. Ano yun? Kumakain ka at sa alalahanin mo yung mga patay. Bakit? Para hindi mo makalimutan. Sapagkat pwede mong makalimutan magtrabaho. Pwede mong makalimutan... Maligo. Pwede mong kalimutang magsimba, pero yung makalimutang kumain, nako, hindi nakakalimutang kumain. Oh, kaya para hindi makalimutan yung mga yung mao, ayan, sinisingit doon ang dasal para maalala mo, hoy, yung mga yumaya mo, yung mga yumao sa iyo, alalahanin mo. Hindi porket na ilibing na, inilibing mo na rin sa limot. O kaya ngayon po, nagtataka kayo, yung mga nagsisimbaritong inaakala, pangkaraniwan ng misa na kanilang dadat na nakita nyo ngayon, misa sa patay ang hinaharap ninyo. Bakit kanyo? Bukod pa doon sa misa, sa mga kaluluwa, sa All Saints Day and All Souls Day, meron pa kaming special na misa para sa mga yumao naming mga magulang. Magulang ng pare, magulang ng madre, na mga miyembro ng Dominican family. Yung naalala namin yan. Bakit? Eh sapagkat ang buhay ng aming mga magulang ay kasama sa misa. Kaya eh, dapat eh, isama rin namin sila sa misa. Bakit kanyo po? Eh katulad ng buhay ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo, inalay yung kanilang Laman at dugo, hindi ba yung misi sinasabit, naririnig nyo, ito ang aking katawan, ito ang aking dugo. Ganon din po nangyari sa mga magulang namin. Inala yung kanilang katawan at dugo. Sino yon Ako po nakatayo ngayon dito. Inalay ako ng aking mga magulang sa Panginoon. Nakiisa sila sa misa ng Panginoon. Panginoon, ito maiaalay ko sa inyo. Aking katawan, aking dugo na ibinigay nyo sa akin, ngayon inaalay ko rin sa inyo. 
Oh, kami nagpapasalamat sa aming mga magulang at naging mahusay silang katiwala ng ating Panginoon. Binigay kami sa kanila at pinagkatiwala na kami tutubong mahusay sa kanilang kalinga. Hindi kami nila hinubog sa kanilang wangis. They did not create us into his, their own image. Sapagkat alam nila na ang Diyos lamang ang may karapatan na lumikha sa tao sa wangis ng Diyos. Nagdasal sila, sila nung sa Panginoon, ano po ba ang kalooban ninyo dito sa batang ito? At hindi sila naging sagabal. Hindi nila hinadlangan. Nakipagtulungan sila sa Diyos. Upang nang sa ganun matupad ang aming bukas yun. At alam nyo naman ang bukas yun, ang bukas yun ay pagkakatiwala ng Diyos na tutuparin namin yung kanilang kalooban. Yun ang bukas yun. Binigyan ka, tinawag ka ng Diyos, o oh, ito, ito, pagkakatiwalaan kita, ito ang gagawin mo. O oh, yan, kalooban ng Diyos. Yan ang bukas yun. Panawagan na dapat mong panindigan. Hindi mo gagawin kung ano lang ang gusto mo. O, pinagkatiwala kami sa mga magulang namin at ang mga magulang naman namin inalam kung ano ang kalooban ng Diyos kaya tinuruan kami na tumupad sa kalooban ng Diyos din. At sana na may mahusay ang pagkakatubo at pagkaka yari sa amin sapagkat maraming aral na ginugol ang mga magulang upang sa ganon makiisa kami sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ganyan ang bukas yun, eh. hindi ikaw ang amo, katiwala ka lang, utusan, naglilingkod. At kapag naglilingkod ka, hindi ka yayaman, sapagkat ang paglilingkod hindi para sa negosyo. Kaya alam nyo mga bukas yun, pagpapare. O hindi mo ginagawang negosyo yung pagpapare, sapagkat katiwala ka lang eh. Utusan. There is no such thing as a millionaire servant. Kaya ang maasahan mo lang pag nagpari ka at ikaw ay tumupad sa utos ng Diyos, e eh, disenting pamumuhay. Makakaasa kang tatlong beses kumakain ka araw-araw. Huwag mo nang tanungin kung ano kinakain mo. Basta kumakain ka tatlong beses isang araw. Disenting pananamit. Meron kang bahay na sisilungan kahit hindi iyo ang titulo. May pabahay ka. Bibigyan ka ng Biblia sapagkat magninilay ka sa salita ng Diyos. Bibigyan ka ng dasalan, li librong dasalan sapagkat magdadasal ka. Bibigyan ka ng Papa, bibigyan ka ng Ubispo, bibigyan ka ng Superior sapagkat susunod ka. Yan ang mga constants ng buhay namin. Kaya palugi ang mga magulang namin nung kami nagpare. Palugi. E alam naman nila yun sapagkat ang bukas yun nila e eh, maging nanay at tatay. Hindi rin ginagawang negosyo ang pagiging nanay at tatay. Bukas yun yun eh. Kayo ba yung mga nag-asawa dito, kaya kayo pinakasalan yung inyo asawa sapagkat gusto nyo yung umaman? Ay, gold digger kayo, no? Palugay yan pag nag-asawa kayo. Pagsisilbihan mo yung asawa mo na wala kang sweldo at pakakainin mo yung di mo kaano-ano. Oh, na hindi ka naman babayaran. Bakit? Bukas yun yan, hindi yan ginagawa negosyo. Ganon din ang pagkakaroon ng anak. Palalakihin mo yan, hindi ka aasa na babayaran lahat yung ginastos mo sa kanila. Kaya nga yung bata, ano, patuloy yung pagluha. Kumakain ba naman, isiner mo na nung kanyang tatay. Ano, Ay, pinakakain kita dito. No? Tapos inutas lahat yung mga ginasta doon sa kanyang anak. Sabi nung anak sa sarili niya, para naman hindi ako anak. Ano ba ako? Baboy na patabain. Na pagkatapos patabain, ipagbibili. Kaya yung mga anak nyo, may bukas yun din para sa mga magulang. Pag kayo tumanda, inaalagaan kayo. 
Hindi kayo parang kotse pagkatapos mawala ang warranty. Pagbibili sa Banawe, doon sa Banawe, yung mga coaching luma na sinachak-chak na sapagkat wala ng kwenta. Hindi ganun, ano? Kahit wala na kayong silbi, pagsisilbihin pa rin kayo ng mga anak ninyo sapagkat magulang kayo. Ang pag-aalaga sa magulang, hindi negosyo. Hindi yung pagmataas na yung binabayad sa ospital, sasabihin sa inyo, nanay, tatay, Mataas na itong pinabayad ko sa inyo, pakibilis-bilisan nyo na. Hindi ganun, ano? Talagang pag kayo sumunod sa bukas yun, hindi kaya yaman. Yan pamumuno sa gobyerno, bukas yun din yan. Kaya tingnan nyo, pag nagsimula na, na umupo sa kanilang pwesto, sumusumpa. Saan? Sa Biblia. So help me God. O. Oh. Kaya isang taksil, yung mga kumakandidato na ang isip, kapag ka sila kumandidato, ay eh magiging milyonaryo. Bukas yun yan, palugi yan, paglilingkod lang yan. O kaya ngayon, tumatanong kami ng utang na loob sa aming mga magulang. Hindi sila humingi ng kabayaran. Pero alam namin, may katungkulang kami na magpasalamat kahit papaano. At sapagkat wala kaming maibibigay na pera, wala kaming maibibigay na bulaklak, maya, kandila, ang kaisa-isang maibibigay namin ay misa. Sapagkat ang buhay namin ay misa. At ang buhay ng aming mga magulang ay misa. Pag-aalay. Ito ang aking katawan. Ito ang aking dugo. Eto ngayon ako. At sana panalangin nyo na hanggang kamatayan tumino ako nang sa ganun makapiling ko yung mga magulang ko sa kabilang dako. Sapagkat kahit na ang mga magulang ko ay hindi perpekto, hindi sila imakulada konsepsyon, katulad ni Inang Maria, o kasimbait, katulad ni San Jose, nagsikap sila na bumait sa akin. Hanggang ngayon yung mga turo nila sa akin, nasa akin pa rin. Minsan sa magaspang na pananalita, nako, yung tatay ko, pag yung matigas ang ulo ko, alam niyo sinasabi sa akin, hanggang na ngayon, na, naalala ko pa. Nasabihin sa akin, Enrico, ha, ba't ang tigas-tigas ng ulo mo? Bakit ka pasaway? Hindi naman kita pinakakain ng nakaw, ah. Ano yun, yun sinasabi sa akin, sapagkat nung panahon namin, nung mga bata pa kami, ang pangunawa ng mga tao, pag matigas ang ulo ng bata, pinakain ng masama. Pinakain ng nakaw. Kaya yung magulang, kapag ka nakitang matigas ang ulo ng bata, sinasabi, bakit ba matigas ang ulo mo? Hindi naman kita pinakain ng nakaw. Nagsumikap ako para pinakain kita ng tapat na galing sa aking pawis. Yun ang sinasabi ng tatay ko. Hindi nga siya yumaman. Pero mga pagmamalaki ko lang, wala namang kriming ginawa, wala pagnanakaw, sa talagang sa tapat na pagsisikap. Kaya nalagay sa isip ko, bakit nga ba matigas ang ulo ko, hindi naman ako pinakain ng tatay ko sa aking nakaw. Nung magpa, magpapari na ako, papasok ako sa seminaryo, nagpaalam ako sa nanay ko. ano sabi ng nanay ko? Oy, Enrico, sabi nga nun sa akin, no? naalala ko pa. Kung gusto mo na magsuot ng maputing sutaan ng yan, sigaru, siguraduhin mo na walang ipot sa ulo mo. Matalinghaga, no? Sa English, it might be a bit rough. If you would like to wear that white habit, make sure that you don't have shit on your forehead. Ibig sabihin, kung gaano kaputi yung suot mo, ganun din kaputi ang kalooban mo. Ayan ang tunay na pare para sa nanay ko. Hanggang ngayon, tinatanong ko pa nanay ko, nanay ko. Nanay! Tumatama ba ako sa inaasahan mo? Walang iniwan sa aking asyenda. Walang iniwan sa aking kayamanan na aking mga magulang. Pero ang iniwan sa akin... Yung kanaling halimbawa at turo. 
na hanggang ngayon naaalala ko pa ang sabi ni ama, ang sabi ni ina, o kayo ba, mga anak ninyo, pag wala na kayo, may maaalala sa inyo, ang sabi ni ama, ang sabi ni ina, o, na may hugot, na pwede nilang mapangahawakan pag sila'y nasa gipit na ka, nakalagayan. O baka hindi nyo man lang kinakausap yung mga anak ninyo, at itinutumpak yung kanilang mga hakbang at pamamaraan sa buhay. Na kapag ka sila'y nagipit at aalalahanin. Ang sabi ni Ama, ano ba sabi ni Ama? May sinabi ba? Ang sabi ni Ina, ano ba sinabi ni Ina? Ah. Yung alaala. Yung iniwan yung alaala. Kaya... Kahit wala na kayo, kayong anak na pare, anak kayong madre, makiisa kayo sa amin, ano? Na ipagdasal yung mga magulang namin. Makiisa kayo sa aming alaala. Na sana yung aming mga tatay at nanay, nagsasaya ngayon. Sapagat sinasabi sa ating Panginoon, Lord, yan po ang aking katawan. Yan po ang aking dugo. Oh, let's all stand to pray. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. With full for all Christians, may they be strengthened in faith and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. That the world may be freed from all evil of violence and war. Let us pray to the Lord. For our parents, for departed parents who have nurtured us in faith and gave us to the church and to the order, may they receive the reward of their work and participate in the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. That this Eucharist, which celebrates the dying and rising of Christ, may be for us the pledge of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, we offer to you the memories of our parents. May they be memories which will become a blessing, not only for us, but for those people whom we serve as priests, brothers, and sisters. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, receive this offering for our parents, give them eternal joy in the land of the living, and reunite us with them in the happiness of the saints. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Since for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this early dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, as we sing the hymn of your glory, without end we acclaim. fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francisco our pope 
Socrates, our bishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Remember your servants, the deceased parents of the order, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant them, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. Jesus loves us, and in his love for us, he taught us to call his own Father, our Father, so we have the courage to say, Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give to you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May your political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, may this sharing in the sacrament of heaven win eternal rest and light for our parents and prepare us to share eternal glory with them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po ito sa pusong nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nakiisa sa ating pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy niyo po ang inyong pagdadasal para sa aming mga nanlilikot sa inyo sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa kayong ipagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join us for the prayer for the blessing of the sick, then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, 
kami ay ipalangin kung kami 